when you speak to your customers, it is important to be memorable because they will make decisions in your favor based on what they remember, not on what they forget. From this regard, memory moves the world. Memory is at the root of all business success. So if you want to influence customers, make memory your mission. This is not that easy, however, because one of the biggest problems in business presentations, confirmed by research, is that audiences forget 90% of what you present. This is significant, and it applies to whether you use PowerPoint or whether you simply write emails, blogs, use whiteboards, or other forms of communication. If customers remember just 10%, the question is, are they remembering the right 10%? What we're noticing from research is that not only do customers remember very little, but the little they remember is at random. So the promise of this video is to ensure that your 10%, whatever is important to you, is the same as the 10% they remember. There are economic advantages to this, mainly sales cycles being faster because when everyone in the room remembers the same message, customers can make faster decisions. So how do you control what others remember? We use insights from brain science, and here are three principles you can apply to be deliberate about what you put in customers' minds. Customers are bombarded with lots of messages and lots of options. There are more and more stimuli these days, more competition than ever, so we have to be smart about what we share. To control what they remember, first, you must clarify your 10% message. Determine upfront, what do I want an audience to remember? This is hardly ever a question that we ask at the beginning of a customer engagement, especially if we simply just have a conversation. When you deliver presentations, they may be longer, they may be shorter, but the question still stands. What would you like people to remember? Regardless of how long or short a conversation or a presentation is, ask first, what would I like to set in their minds? Having an agenda is not sufficient because the brain does not have energy for topics. It has energy for rewards. So associate your 10% message with a strong reward and don't present more than three or four supporting points max to your main message. Once you have a clear 10% message, saying it once is not sufficient for memory you wish to control. Remember that adage, tell them what you're going to tell them, then tell them, then tell them what you told them? This is a major need of being updated because even mentioning a message in the beginning and in the end is not sufficient to secure memory. We have to repeat it multiple times. Retro cue means reactivating older items in memory, which enable the brain to detect a pattern. Once you reactivate a message and you allow your audience's brains to detect that pattern, keep the message consistent. This is because the brain equates consistency with validity. So what you gain out of a clear message repeated consistently is memory and trust. So to summarize, if you wish to convince customers to make decisions, you must become memorable. To control a message you place in a customer's brain, clarify what you want them to remember, reactivate that message often, and reactivate it in a consistent way. As a result, you're more likely to influence their decisions because customers act in your favor based on what they remember, not on what they forget.